So a customer sends you a design that they seen on Pinterest, Etsy, or maybe even just Google, and they sent it to you, and you want to know what you can and can't do as far as copyrights and all of that stuff. And sometimes it does get that serious, but most of the time it's really not that serious. In this video, a customer sent me a design, and I'm going to show you guys what I do to avoid any thoughts of copyright issues or anything like that. Sometimes you just got to redesign it. How you guys doing? My name is Stan Bates from T-Shirt Side Hustle, and I help you start T-Shirt businesses from home wherever you're at and today we're going to be going ahead and taking a customer supply image making it our own getting it packed and ready to ship all from start to finish right after the intro Okay, so a lot of you guys ask me very, very simple questions about like, you know, when a customer sends you design, about copyright and stuff like that. Most of the stuff isn't even copyrighted, uh, especially like what I'm about to show you guys. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag this design and I actually got to send it to my phone, uh, send it over from my phone. But while I do that, I just wanted to talk to you guys because, you know, just because a customer sends you something, they'll be more than happy if you take it and you make it your own or just switch up the fonts and that way you're not just like verbatimly putting out somebody else's artwork or designs and you can just you know kind of like take and run it on your own so I'm dropping this file in that they sent me okay and it's this one right here you ready not ready yet all right now it's ready okay so this right here this is what I would call to be untraceable and let's trace it and see what happens here. Boom. You see how it's like super jagged. If you can see how jagged it is, it's really not going to trace well. Uh, but you can play with your threshold and all of that stuff. I don't know if anybody has a way to smooth things out or not. Um, but I don't really see a way that you can smooth things out. So based off of this, I'm going to call it untraceable because when I trace it, it looks super jagged, right? And if you look close, that's not something that we want to use. So we're just going to like scratch it. Now, I went through a little bit and I searched for some fonts and I didn't find this exact font, but I just found some close that I'm actually going to use. So I'm going to type the words five and O. Okay. And. Off of this, I'm going to go ahead and I found a font. I think the one I like is Winter Calligraphy. So I'm going to take them. I'm going to put in W I N. Already installed them because you guys know we need to install the fonts before opening up Silhouette. So let's make these black so I can see them good and see how it's kind of. Uh, difference in things so let's take this first and foremost and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ungroup and I'm going to ungroup and I want to shrink this down a little bit and I want to make this O and the H bigger like it kind of like what it is okay but I'm gonna make the O a little bit bigger so I can get that kind of maybe I might be able to pull off that overlapping kind of feel with the O if I make it bigger and position it right there, oops, now I need to group these back together a little bit. And I put that like right there. Kind of a different, um, not sure how I feel about it because it's, let's space this out just a hair. Um, could put this over here, Let's see what this would look like. I like that interlock look. All right, let's ungroup this. Make this F a little bigger. I 
think that actually looks doable right there and about right there I think she'll be happy with that although I might not be too happy I kind of like the way this looks but not really I wish it was something like that possibly and then do these over here right down in there and then in order to solidify what I'm doing, I double click here. That's going to bring up my points. All right. And when I do that, I'm going to hold the shift key. And I'm just going to drag these out a little bit to make it longer. To make it look like it's closer. Okay. Same thing here. Double click. Hold the shift key. Drag that out just to here and zoom out. All right, I think that looks a little bit better. Let's copy this and then let's back up before we did all of that. I don't know why it does the zooms and everything. Okay. So let's take a look here. Longer or shorter? I think the longer one looks fine. Okay. So, there we go. We got the 5 0 here. And then we just need to put the date. And by date, I'm going to put, I don't even know if that's the right date 6 10. Uh, ooh, it says 6 10 15. Let's see here. What date I need to put if it's in the messages. My birthday is 1470. 1470. Okay. And we're going to see what um, font looks good with this. Let's try the same one, which was, was it watermelon? No, that wasn't watermelon. It was winter. Winter calligraphy. Okay, that looks fine. Okay, so then we're gonna make this black here, and then once we make that black, I don't really want to make it too big, so I'll probably just do it like that. Now, where was it positioned at? All right, so what we can do is move this up a little bit, boom, and then put the date underneath for that. A little smaller and we're gonna go with that all right there drag this a little bit bigger and we're going to go with this right here all right so basically I just redesigned that design and now we're going to go ahead and get it cut out in some glitter. Uh, in order to do this as well, I'm going to group this. I'm going to flip horizontally. Oh, I flipped it vertically. Right click, flip horizontally. And then we're going to make it a 12 inch wide design. Actually, probably go with 11 inches. 11 inches uh, across the chest. The sweatshirt and glitter. So. Let's get over to the cutter and get it cut. Now that I got it all ready on my cut mat, I'm gonna go ahead and get it loaded. And send it to the cutter. All right, so it's all cut. Now it's time to get it weeded. Whenever you're done, just make sure you flip your design over, take a look at it, make sure you cut all of the cavities. I know sometimes we all are subject to missing some, but this is just something that you wanna do. So now we gotta head over to the heat press, get it lined up, pressed up, so we can get it shipped out today. We got our design already, the big 5-0 design. We got our sweatshirt here, this is a large gilded. Uh, 18500 is, I'm sorry, not 18500. 18500 is actually the hoodie. The 1800 is actually the sweatshirt. And I go ahead and take out the top gilding tag. 
uh, just for something I do. Eventually, I will start replacing these with T-bar tags. I just got to get some new ones. The old ones that I have it just aren't working out too well anymore. So we're going to go ahead, line this up. And right now, I am on the Black Series uh, 16 by 20 press. And we're at 320 degrees. Line everything up with my hands, just filling it with my hands. Boom, boom, boom. Take our design, line it up. I'm gonna go three fingers on this, it's big. Uh, yeah, about three fingers. So that'll put me somewhere around three inches from the collar. And then we're gonna center it. Step back. All right, that looks pretty good, looks straight. And then we're gonna press it. Gotta add some pressure to this. Got to add some pressure. Uh, not sure it was being pressed before this. All right, that feels good right there. So we press it for the 15 seconds. Two, one, Eureka! All right, so now I'm gonna peel back slow. It's going to have to cool down a little bit so we can get the full effect of the sweatshirt, the red with the glitter. But 5-0, looking nice. When this thing cools down, we'll get a picture of it on the floor. But I'm going to go ahead and position everything to get it printed. I'm sorry, to get it packaged and shipped uh, so you guys can come along with me through that process. All right, in order to get this thing shipped off, the first thing we got to do is fold it up. And I do have a t-shirt folder at the shop. The screen print shop uh so it doesn't have to be perfect we're just going to go ahead and fold it up so it'll fit in the bag and then we have to weigh it and get the shipping label printed okay so that kind of looks good there i don't like to fold with the collar showing i want the design to show so i want it to look something like this through the shirt and that'll be how we slide it into our package i gotta fold it in just a little bit more no big deal to fit in a small package that we've got here. So fold in just a little bit more and then we should be good to go there. Boom, boom. All right, got it. See the design through the shirt. Now we put in a clear poly mailer. This is kind of my cheap way of getting custom mailers. They see the t-shirt design. And on the actual label, what I end up doing is I'll put the website on the actual label, put gourmettbar.com, and that'll that'll be all. If you got any business cards and stuff like that, I got to get all of that stuff made up. I'm still, you know, going through the process of switching everything over. If you do, you would just drop any of that stuff in here, and you'll be good to go. This person is a customer. She sends all her family to me. This is actually a shirt for her mom, uh, so she knows exactly what to do when it comes to that. So I really don't need it in here anyway. So. We took a Pinterest possibly design or maybe Google. We packaged it up. We redesigned it first. We printed it. We pressed it. Now we're about to weigh it on the scale in ounces. Okay, this is 15 ounces. It's 14.6 ounces. So I go into my computer here. I'm not going to show you guys the address or whatever the case is. But when I print uh, everything off, you'll see that it's just good to go. So we're gonna go with a four by six label. We've got the address in there. This is 15 ounces, which means we can send it. Anything under one pound, you can send first class. This is a three day mail. She needed it by the second. It's December 28th, so I wanna hurry up and get this done so I can take it over to the post office real quick. It's gonna cost me $5 to ship it, okay? So we're gonna go there. And here I'm gonna put gourmet tbar.com. I'm gonna have it print that out as well. And I'm gonna switch this over from t-shirt size to the gourmet t-bar. And I'm gonna press print sample. Let's just make sure we're gonna go good, boom. All right, so we print the label. And I got it plugged in via the USB here. 
and it's gonna come right out. You see here at the bottom, it says Gourmet T-Bar with the tracking number. You take that. Depending on the package, sometimes I put it on the back side and the front side. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that right there on the back side like so. And with that being said, I tried to cover it up. I probably missed it a little bit. It's all ready to go. So I'm about to hop on the scooter, head to the post office. But nonetheless, let's close out this video with my final thoughts. One of the things that I learned uh, when I started this YouTube channel is that me thinking everything is so easy to do is not always easy for you guys who are just starting and I understand the struggle. So some of these videos may seem repetitive, but I never know who's watching what video and which video is the first one that you watch. So in this video, we did this design, at, real, real simple to do, just a text-based design. We did it in glitter. Took a little while, not too much time, but at the same time, I went ahead and showed you guys what I do. A lot of you guys have questions about taking designs that people send you and printing them. Sometimes this is a simple shirt that somebody else designed. I just use a different font and put my own little twist on it. And it's the same, pretty much the same thing. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty much the same thing. So if you made it this far, go ahead and like this video. Also, go ahead and subscribe because I make videos like this all the time. And yes, I do mean all the time. And hit that notification bell so you can be notified the next time that I post a video. This has been your boy Stan Benjamin T-shirt Side Hustle. Peace. Okay, so we're at the T-shirt Side Hustle website and I'm going to show you guys how to request an actual video. So I'm just going to go to menu. I'm going to go to resources. And then here's cut settings, uh, stay and suggested heat presses, and then video request. Okay, here it basically just says, I'm not going to promise you that I'll get to everybody, but whenever I'm looking for an idea or something to make a video on, I will check this page and see what you guys have. This is a lot better than leaving it in the comments, although you can leave it in the comments and I'll see it. Uh, but uh, if I don't get to that video right away, I'll forget about it. But come over here and place your suggestion so now I can just come to this list and pull up uh, some videos ideas and then go ahead and go through them so you just put your name your email and you leave a comment uh, with your suggestion and then it'll get posted and I'll see it everybody will see it and check the list for your idea first and then 